Mulligan and the Chem Cracker today, we're summarizing what we've done so far in the mole. Now, remember that we said at the start that the mole is just a way of measuring amount of substance. It does this by counting particles. Now, the mole is important to chemists because it is a central way of measuring amount and it can be related to the other ways of measuring amount. So, in chemistry, we measure volume as a way of measuring amount, we measure masses, and obviously, to count particles would be difficult, and that's why we have the mole. So, let's look at this diagram here. Now, the mole we've shown so far is related to numbers of particles, and that relationship is defined by Avogadro's constant, L. It's also related to gas volumes, and that relationship is defined by molar volume. It's related to masses of substances. That relationship is defined by molar mass. Now, what we're seeing here is that we can go through the mole to convert the mass of a substance to the number of particles or volume of gas, if it is a gas. And that's the usefulness. We can go from gas volumes to numbers of particles or to mass as long as we go through the mole. And that's why we call it the central measure of amount. Now, we're going to practice this on a couple of calculations. Let's look at this question. Question says, what is the volume occupied by 220 grams of CO2 at RTP? Now, if we look at what we're given, we're given that we have 220 grams of CO2. And the question is asking you about the volume. Now, we don't have a direct relationship between the two, but we know that mass of CO2 is related to moles, and we know that moles is also related to volume. So what we can do is to convert this mass to the number of moles first, and then using the relationship between molar mass so then relation, using the relationship between moles and volume, we can calculate the volume of CO2. So let us do that. We can do it in quite a few ways. I will demonstrate a long way to do it and a short way to do the same calculation. Now, let's look at what we're given. We're told that we have 220 grams of CO2 to work with. Now, one mole of CO2 is 44 grams. Now, we're given that we have 220 grams, all right? And they're trying to find the volume. Now, so really what we want is the relationship between mass and volume, but we have to go through the mole. So, if I then convert this mole to the volume of CO2 at RTP, we can get a direct relationship between the mass and the volume. So one mole, we know, is 24 decimeter cubed at RTP. All right? So we know that one mole, which is 24 dm cubed RTP, will have a mass of 44 grams. Okay? So from there, from there, we can do the next step directly. Look at that. 220 grams is what volume of CO2? Right? So let's change this to x decimeter cubed of CO2. Alright? So we can cross multiply work to get our volume. So x is going to be Right, 44x is equal to 24 times 220. X is equal to 24 times 220 over 44, which is, that's 1, that's 5. That 5 times that is 120 and decimeter cubed. That's our volume occupied. 
that is the short way of relating them in my view all right i'm going to show you another way step by step going to find the number of moles and then finding the volume you can do whichever method that makes you competent right next let's do the same calculation in two steps first we will determine the number of moles of co2 and then determine the volume so from this from this statement here 220 grams of co2 we can calculate the number of moles of co2 present so we know that one mole of co2 has mass 44 grams all right and we are given that we have 220 grams of co2 so we can figure out the number of moles of co2 in that by simply cross multiplying so x is going to be equal to 220 times 1 over 44 and that's going to be 5 moles so there we figure out that we have 5 moles of co2 now we can calculate the volume because we know there's a relationship between moles and volumes of gases at rtp we know that for any gas at rtp one mole and in this case the gas is co2 occupies 24 decimeter cubed at rtp so since we have five moles of co2 then that will occupy let's call it x dm cubed and x will be equal to 5 times 24 that's equal to 1 120 decimeter cube just like in the other method you can do the triple method makes you feel comfortable do it both ways you learn it even better here's another example this question says how many molecules are present in 0.224 meter cube of oxygen at stp let's just look at what we have now we're being asked to work out the relationship between volume and numbers of molecules. Now again, we don't have a direct relationship, but we know both of these have a relationship with the mole. There's a relationship between numbers of molecules and the mole, and there's a relationship between volume, gas volume, and the mole. So, let's start out by writing out the relationship between the volume of a gas and the mole. Now, let's look carefully. Now, one mole of oxygen occupies 22.4 decimeter cube at STP. Now, our question is asking us about the relationship between volume and molecules. I have volume and moles in this line. So, I want to change the moles to molecules. So, what's the relationship between mole and molecules? Well, one mole contains... 6 times 10 to the 23 molecules so we can change this and say okay one mole or 6 times 10 to the 23 molecules right of oxygen we'll just write o2 molecules occupies 22.4 decimeter cube right now now we have a relationship between molecules of oxygen and the volume of oxygen. So now we can take the volume that we're given. Now the volume that we're given is in meter cubed. Now, what's the relationship? We know that 1000 decimeter cubed makes one meter cubed. So we need, we need to do that conversion. Okay? So to get decimeter cube, we're going to have to multiply by a thousand. All right. So this is one, two, three, two, twenty-four decimeter cube. All right. Good. So let's just erase this, and then we put in our next line that we have two hundred and twenty-four decimeter cubed would have x o2 
molecules. So 6 times 10 to the 23 oxygen molecules has volume of 22.4 decimeter cube at STP. Now if I have 224, you can see that that's 10 times the amount. And so your answer is easy to figure out if you're mathematically adept. If you're not, kindly work it out in your calculator. Cross multiply again. X is going to be equal to 6 times 10 to the 23 times 224 over 22.4 and that's 1 and so you get 6 times 10 to the 24 molecules so x is 6 times 10 to the 24 molecules if we know the relationships then the calculations are easy okay to recap quickly the question asks us about molecules and volume right there's not a direct relationship but they're both related to the mole so we start with the mole relationship one mole occupied 22.4 dm cube for oxygen at stp we then convert the mole to the unit that we're trying to work with which is the number of molecules one mole is a set number of molecules of oxygen that's six times ten to the 23 and now we have the relationship between molecules and volume and after that it is just a matter of ratios and proportions mathematical manipulation and you get your answer I hope this video was useful to you. Like the video if you found it useful and share it with your friends. And don't so forget to subscribe to Chem Cracker for more chemistry crackers.